me the story of the, of the other one. Wh where's that at now? Oh, it's in uh, it's south of Minneapolis. All right, and how? Uh, how oh, know a ton of, and yeah. um, and and the guy that was one, where it originally got built, and one of the guys that helped build it is rebuilding it. All right. So okay. we not not really anything's going to happen in the fuselage. Yeah. But the uh, yeah, you're way up. There you go. The wings, all the struts, the landing gear, yeah. uh, everything was taken out. The airplane had 900 hours on it. I had the engines overhauled, props overhauled, uh, and, uh, you know, basically there was a lot of uh, cracked parts and things where people had been walking on the wing, and there was things that they needed to fix, and it was great. So everything other than a few sides had been completely gone through. Wow. Wipe it off. Oh. A little fast, right? All the way back, just keep it coming back. That'll help slow it down. <laughs> hey, it should be plenty good. I'll just head off over there and take off. All the way back. Get, get it out. Now, once it gets up, it'll now you start easing it forward, and it'll come up on the step. There you go. And then once it gets up, and then it'll start, and then you kind of feel it. But you always want to keep a little back pressure on it. Yeah, okay. And it'll just accelerate. You just get that little tail in there. Go back, back, back. There you go. It'll come off about now. There you go. You just go off this way. That is so cool. Great performance, I tell you. It does, it's awesome. The problem is, you got four people in it, oh, right, and yeah. it's no wind. I've had to dump people on the shore, I couldn't get it off in the water. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll go straight out this way, and when they okay. come around, we'll land it on the runway. And come back to 30 inches. So we'll do a downwind, I tell you what. I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to let you drop the gear. So okay. there's a little switch yep. under here. Yep. And so you're going to, so what you're going to do is you're going to open one valve. Yep. And you're going to basically push this thing, open the valve first, and then push it forward. Down. down. There you go. Okay. Okay, it'll go down. And then you're you're going to want to close the valve while the pump's still running. Okay. Okay. So when it gets down there, the pressure builds up. Rise it. Yeah, you go, you want to, it's max pressure, then you close it. Let it build up, let it build up. There you go, close the valve. Okay, now just do the other one. Okay. Go roof. One down. This one go up to about a thousand. Close the valve. Close. Leave the pump runner while you before you close. Yeah, so open lid, close now close the valve. While the pump's still running, there you go. Okay. Yeah, just make sure they're home. Okay, there you go. Good. Alright, you got it. Oh, you got your seatbelt on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Alright, yeah, just land on the runway. Just you know, stay in it. it, it Make sure you stay in the in the cut spot because if you get off the side, it's going to pull us off to the okay. side. Okay. And you just not you two pointed if you want, but I always three pointer. Okay. So we'll see how we get. Okay. Gears down, going in on the land. Now we've got pressure. Yep. Bridge. Conditioning on. Oh, good idea. I was wondering what I was forgetting. Not going back to the water. If it starts going off, I'll uh, I'll get on the brakes. Okay. Because I've got the brakes over here, but you know it should it should be fine. Didn't help. Is there uh, any point to land on, or it doesn't matter? Short, no. short long doesn't make any difference. No, no, no. I mean you got you got plenty of room to land. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll end up taxiing, so you know just clear the wires and. The legal FAA altitude over the interstate is 17 feet. So 
So, sometimes I make sure I do that in the P-51. Pretty good. Yeah, I love this thing. <laughs> 